We should not shut down our economy again. We should not shut down our schools again. Big changes to Washington's COVID vaccine requirements announced today and a new statewide mask mandate regardless of vaccination status. And I'm huge on choice. Always with our kids, give them a choice. Parents across Washington protesting masks in the classroom on the same day those new guidelines are announced. The new requirements impact coaches all the way up to the college level. How this impacts WSU's head coach Nick Rolovich, who has been open about his decision to remain unvaccinated. These steps are all about keeping people safe and out of harm's way. Also today, new federal vaccine guidance from the president. Breaking news in the last 90 minutes, Washington Governor Jay Inslee made three major coronavirus related announcements. Number one, Washington educators K through 12 will be required as a condition of employment to be fully vaccinated come October 18th. Number two, those working in higher education, childcare and early learning will all be required to be fully vaccinated also by October 18th. And number three, effective Monday, August 23rd, there will be a statewide indoor mask mandate. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for the special hour long edition of Creme 2 News First at 4. I'm Mark Hanrahan and I'm Whitney Ward. So these updates and new requirements all coming as the Delta variant of the coronavirus is sweeping the nation and COVID numbers and hospitalizations are on the rise. That's why the governor said today we need to use the tools we know are effective against the virus. So when you decide to get a vaccine, you're protecting a kid out there who can't get it. So our Ian Smade joining us live in the studio tonight to break down the impact of Governor Jay Inslee's announcement today. Ian? Yeah, Mark, Whitney, the two big takeaways from Governor Jay Inslee's announcement today are the return of indoor mask mandates starting next Monday and a vaccine mandate for almost all K-12 through and higher education employees. And now let's start with that mask mandate. That is going back into effect on Monday, and that will apply to everyone regardless of their vaccination status. This mask mandate applies to almost all spaces, but there are a few exceptions. Those include offices without normal public access, places where people work along, alone rather and don't interact with the public, and small private gatherings among fully vaccinated people. The Department of Health is also recommending masks for people in crowded outdoor areas. This mandate comes as the state is seeing a huge spike in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. This week, our state broke its previous record for COVID hospitalizations set in December. The rate is, as I said, spectacularly almost vertical in our charts. We're witnessing exponential growth. I've not used that term in some months, but regrettably that is now the situation that we are in. The Spokane Regional Health District had also said that we saw a record number of COVID hospitalizations at one point this week. Now let's move on to the vaccine mandate for educational employees. That will apply to basically everyone who works in a K through 12 or higher education job. It won't apply to students with some younger students still not eligible for any of the vaccines. Those employees must be fully vaccinated, so two weeks past their final shot by October 18th. Inslee was adamant that those who fail to get vaccinated will lose their job. Uh, there will be a process that will involve days, not months, where if people do not come in compliance, that they will be discharged. And that will apply to all the personnel that are uh, associated with this protocol, be they state employees or, or in the K-12 through or college system. And there will be a formal process of their discharge. Now, there are still some medical and religious exemptions, and we should note that this also applies to people like substitute teachers, coaches, volunteers, and more. Inslee also said unions can negotiate to get their employees time off to get the vaccine and deal with the side effects. However, there will not be an option to do testing in place of getting the vaccine. Now, one thing to note is that in order for educational workers to be fully vaccinated by that deadline, they'll need to get that last shot no later than October 4th. Inslee was adamant that these steps are being taken in order to not have to shut down schools or the economy again like we saw last year. Whitney, Mark. All right, thank you very much, Ian. Also, Superintendent of Public Instruction in Washington, Chris Reichdahl, also spoke at today's press conference alongside the governor, saying the vaccine and the mask requirements are the best way to ensure that schools stay open this fall. But not everyone's on board. Krem 2's Morgan Trow is live at Lewis and Clark High School tonight, where some parents are protesting against these mandates. And Morgan, what are those protesters saying tonight? 
Mark, Whitney. Well, actually, the protesters are not here yet because they are traveling across the area. First, they were at Central Valley School District and then Mead, and now they'll be coming here. Thousands of parents and community members are urging state officials to reconsider and make masks and vaccines a choice. This comes after Spokane Public Schools announced last week that masks will be required for students and staff within their system. But this mandate from the governor requires all K through 12 educators, staff, coaches, bus drivers, and school volunteers to be fully vaccinated. And I respect if people want to wear one, that's fine. You know, just that there, there be a choice. It's our, it's like my sign says, it's our birthright. It's already ours. So I'm not here asking for anything. I'm here just claiming what's already ours. The state's vaccine mandate expansion includes public, private, and charter schools, but does not include any students or tribal schools. The educators and staff have until October 18th to be fully vaccinated or they risk losing their job. I reached out to Spokane Public Schools, but they have not gotten back to me yet. In downtown Spokane, Morgan Trout, Crem 2 News. Morgan, thank you very much. The Spokane Regional Health District is once again revealing startling new data. They reported 347 new COVID cases today alone. That is the second highest number of reported cases just this month. And that may be or what may be even more startling rather is that 165 people are currently hospitalized in the county due to the virus. Governor Jay Inslee said today that 95% of people hospitalized in Washington with COVID-19 are not vaccinated. Two new deaths were also reported today. And as we head over to North Idaho, 92 people are hospitalized across the five northern counties in the Panhandle because of COVID. 111 new cases were also reported just today. There have been 350 COVID deaths in North Idaho since this pandemic began. Also just today, Kootenai Health said they're nearing capacity at the hospital with COVID patients. According to the spokesperson there, 85 people are hospitalized there right this minute, 36 of which require critical care. Because of the high capacity now, the hospital has been forced to cancel all elective surgeries because they say they just don't have capacity to deal with those patients. So right now, 50% of hospitalizations there in total are patients who range from 18 to 60 years old. Compared to the winter surge, that same age range only accounted for about 20% of hospitalizations. Also today, President Joe Biden announcing another requirement that nursing home staff must also be vaccinated if those facilities want to continue receiving federal funding and participate in Medicare and Medicaid. So the new mandate will take effect as soon as next month. The Biden administration right now saying hundreds of thousands of nursing home workers are not vaccinated. About 80 million Americans are eligible for the vaccine but have not yet done so. It only makes sense to require a vaccine that stops the spread of COVID-19. And it's time for others to step up. Federal health officials said fully vaccinated adults may need a booster shot to fight the rapid spread of the Delta variant. And that push could begin as soon as next month for seniors and for healthcare workers. Look, we understand this is a lot of information we just threw at you. So for everything you need to know about the governor's announcement today, the new mask and vaccine mandates, just text us the word COVID to 509-448-2000. And we will continue to bring you updates as well as get reaction from local leaders throughout this special edition of Creme 2 News at 4. In the meantime, today's announcement on vaccinations and masks has a huge impact on Washington schools. So coming up after the break, we're going to hear from the president of the Mead Educa Education Association. And later on tonight, we'll hear from local and high school and college coaches as vaccines will now be a requirement of their job too.